Torah Garda, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Yasharol and Yahuda, listen. You the people of the book broadcast is going down and it's the push. Listen in another other than Hezekiah, woman in travail, listen, on this Shabbat we pushing. We pushing Yasharol, Yahuda. We push and grafted in Gentiles into the body of Hamashiach. Listen, you who has called me to declare to you that you need to push. You need to receive the witness of the Ruach HaKadosh. The water, the blood, and the Ruach HaKadosh. You need to receive the witness of Yahuwah. I'm in this for Yahuwah. I'm in this to wake up your cold. Listen, I am here because I love Yahuwah and I love his people. And Yahuwah has sheep that are not of this fold. I love the Gentiles, those who Yahuwah has chosen from amongst them. Listen, about to push y'all. Yahuwah, I give you praise in the name of Yahushua Mashiach on this show Shabbat. I'm asking you to take the reins of my lips and the reins of my tongue and reign Yahuwah in the push, the birthing forth of Yasharal and Yehuda. The receiving of the witness, the water, the blood, and the Ruach HaKadosh. The, the, the declaring that they must be born again of the water and the Ruach HaKadosh. Declaring that Yahuwah has sprinkled clean water and given his Ruach to those who he has chosen that they may keep his judgments and his statutes. Yahuwah, I pray. In the name of you, Shemashiach, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Yahuwah. Yahuwah, let me not cause anyone to stumble. Yahuwah, let me not cause anyone to be turned out of the way, anyone to come up lame. Yahuwah, I'm in this for the push. I'm in this for the push. Push, Yasharah. Push, Yahuda. Push, grafted in Gentile. I'm ready for the showdown. Yahuwah, I let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer. Push. We're the woman in travail. Push, push, push. Listen, you who is birthing forth the nation. All nations is going to bow down to the nation of Yahuwah. Listen, we in travail. But you know what? We are enduring tribulation. We're enduring the squeeze. We're enduring the press. We're enduring it. And we're doing it to the end. Listen, we going in. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. Listen, Yasharal and Yehuda, you know we on the best day of the week every day. Shabbat, man, I tell you, I love Yahuwah. Listen, I love Yahuwah, and I am grateful for Yahuwah's Ruach HaKadosh. I am grateful for Yahuwah's Ruach HaKadosh. I am grateful for the Ruach HaKadosh. Listen, I am so thankful that Yahuwah has chosen me from amongst the, the Yahudim to hear and receive his word, to bear the witness of the Ruach HaKadosh. Listen. No problems with me crying loud. Spare it not. No problems with me lifting up my voice like a trumpet giant. There is no problem with me declaring the word, the Torah, the Basura of truth. Because listen, I believe this witness. So I'm going to cry loud. Spare it not. Listen. 
I'm going to lift up my voice like a trumpet. Sorry, listen, I'm going to declare to you who is people that they must receive the witness. They must be born again of the water and of the Ruach HaKadosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. You must receive the Ruach HaKadosh. You aren't going in unless you receive the entire witness. The water, the blood, and the Ruach HaKadosh. These three, right? They testify. To Yahusha. You gotta receive it. Listen, 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 listen. You know we in slow mo. The wisdom of slow mo, the wisdom of Solomon. We are in the seventh chapter now, seventh chapter of the wisdom of Solomon. And again, you know we understand the slow mo, right? The wisdom of slow mo is written by a man who has Yahuwah's Ruach HaKadosh and wisdom. And he has you who was Ruach HaKadosh of knowledge. He has you who is Ruach HaKadosh, but these specifics he requested from Yahuwah, characteristics that he 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 requested of Yahuwah, and Yahuwah gave it to him. Yeah, Yahuwah gave it to him. Right? Said Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles says, Shlomo said, Give unto me now, give me now wisdom, right? Second Chronicles 1 and 10. Now, you know he's talking about the Ruach HaKadosh because he's asking you. All right, let's get that straight. He's not asking for some sensual, earthly understanding of wisdom. He is speaking specifically of the Ruach HaKadosh. Because you already anointed him. He's already anointed the king. He always says you were Ruach. But Shlomo wanted specifically the wisdom of Yahuwah and the knowledge of Yahuwah in order to lead Yahuwah's people. He says, listen, give it to me now wisdom and knowledge that I might go out and come in before this people for who can provide justice. Who can judge this people that is so great? Or another translation says, this great people of thine. Right? Okay. Right? Yahuwah's like, ooh. He said, and Elohim said, Solomon, because thou has, well, because this was in your heart, and thou hast not asked me for riches or wealth or honor or life or, or, or the life of thine enemies, Yet neither are you asked for long life, but have asked wisdom and knowledge for thyself that thou might judge my people of whom I've anointed you king. Right? I gave you the Ruach to be king. He said, listen, wisdom, Ruach of wisdom and Ruach of knowledge is granted unto you. And I will give you riches, right? And wealth and honor as one of the, uh, honor such as one of the kings have had that have been before thee. Neither shall there any afterwards thee have the like. Shlomo asked for the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom. He asked for the Ruach HaKadosh of knowledge. And you would gave it to him. You weren't just asking for a knowledge or wisdom that's earthly and sensual and carnal and nah, he ain't wasn't asking for that. He didn't need to ask you for that. He would have had that on his own. He didn't, that don't require nothing but wisdom from you to lead people that are as the dust of the earth in multitude. Yeah, you, you gotta have the Ruach in this. You gotta have the Ruach in this view. You, you gotta have the Ruach of wisdom and the Ruach of Knowledge, right? Now, his father, Dawid, right? Dawid had the Ruach of the Jews, anointed king too. Dawid operated in might. He was conquering and subduing all of Yahuwah's enemies. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. He was putting the kibosh down. He was like laying it out, right? Him and his soldiers, man, he was putting it on, right? They were. Now, now we had counsel to the Ruach's counsel. It's evident in the songs of in, in, in the Psalms. You know, when you you were 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 were, were now we meditated in Yahoo's word day and night. Wisdom. The Ruach Kadesh. Now we got to a point where you know he transgressed you. You know, slept with Bathsheba's wife. Then had Uriah deceive, try to deceive Uriah and everybody else by bringing him home because you know he didn't he didn't slept with Bathsheba. I kind of think it was more than once too, right? He slept with Bathsheba, right? She got pregnant. She got pregnant. Well, it's it for her husband. She, she what? You, you, you missed your cycle. Oh. Sin for Uriah. We got something we got to fix it. Bring Uriah down. Uriah's like, yeah, yeah. You know, Uriah loved the king. Oh, hail the king. King David. Yeah, Uriah, come on in here, man. Listen, listen. You're a wonderful soldier, man. You know, and I just want to reward you, you know, for for your service and your work and, you know, give you some time off from everything else and spend some time with your wife. Deception. The Ruach HaKadosh departs from. The Ruach HaKadosh departs from. Deceit. The Ruach HaKadosh leaves. Deceit. You know me. I don't mind. I I don't mind recapping because recapping is essential, right? It says here in verse five, for the ruach of discipline flees deceit. Now we was being deceitful, I'm trying to cover it up, right? And removes from the thoughts of them that are without understanding. He was without understanding because he wasn't under the leadership of the Ruach HaGadosh. Somebody said, no, he still had the Ruach HaGadosh. And will not abide when unrighteousness comes in. Will not remain, continue, and dwell when unrighteousness comes in. See, and, and you know, he tried to cover that up. You're right, you know, he devoted to the king, devoted to his troops. And he didn't feel like he deserved to be in with his wife experiencing her comfort while they were out on the front lines and you know he was sent to serve the king and fight for Jerusalem that plan didn't work told Uriah to go home woke up Uriah was camped out at his front door <laughs> they ain't been home they told him to send him back to, send him back to the front line put him in the front lines put him in the, in the heat of the battle because then you know if he dies then I can just take his wife and then she raised the child up his mind. Hey, but you know that the child was taken in adultery, right? Right, right. Child taken in adultery is wickedness, right? And you can't let that happen, right? So, of course, you know, you ride dies. And, and uh, you know, David takes Bathsheba and marries him. And then come Nathan. You know, uh, this, this man who had a sheep, one lone sheep, he loved the sheep. And then there was this other man, he had all kinds of sheep and had access to many more, right? But what he wanted was that man's one sheep. And he took that man's one sheep. Who is this man? He deserves judgment, he deserves judgment, he deserves judgment. David, you know, man. It's because you know you who has to send a word now. Because the Ruach is not in you, Dawid. You who is not communing with Dawid. 
So he had to send Nathan. Right. And Nathan brought the word. Then David prepared That's why David said, you will take not thy ruach, I can dash away from me. He, he was already gone. They left him. Right. And he returned. And you will have mercy on him. Because he'll have mercy on the man who, who recognizes their wrong and repents. Godly repentance. Godly sorrow. Heart. Restore them. Wisdom. David had the Ruah. He didn't want to lose it. Shlomo had the Ruah. Lost it. In the end, the conclusion of the matter is, he says, fear you. He says, in Ecclesiastes 12th chapter, you know, I might come back to Ecclesiastes too, you know. And what if you who has me to I'm going to go to Ecclesiastes? Because Ecclesiastes it's a stark reminder of what it looks like when you don't have rule of He says, listen, 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 listen. Let us hear the conclusion of the matter. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahuwah. Keep his Torah. Right? And keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For Lewis shall bring every work into judgment. And every secret thing. Right? Whether good or evil. That's, that's, that's the conclusion to the matter. At the end of the day. See, in slow-mo, in the wisdom of slow-mo... He was, he was operating in the Ruach HaGadosh wisdom. Right? See, now, 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 in Ecclesiastes, he, he gave himself to no folly and madness. It's a totally different perspective. Right? It's vanity, the vexing. Right? That same vexation that Shaul had when Yahuwah removed his Ruach from him. Such an evil Ruach. <laughs> Shlomo. Yeah, he, he stopped meditating in the Torah day and night. He started, he started communing with his own heart. Started that self-talk. You know, oh, I'm, 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 I'm the wisest man on the earth. Pride go before destruction, all through spirit before a fall. I got more wisdom than anybody. Yeah. You know, I got wealth and riches. I got more than anybody ever had in the kingdom of Jerusalem. Now, you were already told him. So give him that. Because his heart, at the time that you had given him the Ruach of wisdom and knowledge, was right. But along the way, you know, he didn't meditate on Yahuwah consistently like he should day and night. And as a result of it, his heart deceived him. Right? Started looking at himself, entertaining that self talk. Look what I've become. Actually, it's also time talking to him about himself that he convinced himself of. Look at how would I become? You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to give myself to no madness and folly. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Now that's what I need to know. Yeah, and the Ruach HaGadesh does what? The Ruach HaGadesh, the Ruach HaGadesh of discipline flees. Deceit. And remove from the thoughts that are without understanding. Don't want nothing to do with thoughts that don't have the understanding of the Ruach. 
a ruach of understanding. Right? 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 And will not abide in when unrighteousness comes in. So listen, the wisdom of Shlomo, this was a self-fulfilling prophecy. Right? He prophesied and he spoke of wisdom and its outcomes. And in the end, he was speaking of himself and not even having realized it. Because you know what? He had gotten so far away from the wisdom of Yahuwah that he didn't even recognize the wisdom of Yahuwah that he had before. Because, you know, it had left him. He, he was going on business as usual. Because, you know, everybody was still feeding that ego. Oh, yeah. You know, all the 150 wives. You know, we was, we was talking about this in the, our, uh, our our Shabbat lesson today. You know, yeah. yeah Shalom had a big ego. You know, he was a handsome, strapping brother. You know what I'm saying? King of Yashua, got all the wisdom, understanding. Got dime pieces from all nationalities. Some of their royalty got their money. In exchange, you know, you know, got some offspring, and I had to give up some, some of, uh, 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 some of the uh, uh, room in the temple for their idols to go. I had to make room for uh, their idols at the gates. Usually, you know, I had to put up gods and groves. Baphomets in the nation of Yashua, but you know, I gave myself to no folly and wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, all these wives told me exactly what I needed to know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They, yeah, yeah. You the king? Oh, hell, the king. Can I get the king tonight? I want the king tonight. Can I get the king tonight? No, I want the king tonight. I was kidding. Oh, all y'all have me. Yeah. Folly. Folly. He gave himself. But see, at, 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 at this point in the wisdom of Solomon, he, he's not there yet. He's not there. We're in the seventh chapter. Let's 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 look at the seventh chapter of the wisdom of Solomon. Okay, wisdom of Solomon. Shlomo, I myself also am a mortal man. This is point on to me wants to die. I am judgment because we all won't die. Right? We all have an appointment. My father had one. His father had one. His father's father's had one. Right? Because we're mortal. We don't live forever. Right? Not as we live now. Right? He said, like to all, and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth. So I'm 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 a direct descendancy from my dime as everyone else is. And we all are going to pass from death to life, right? He says, and in my mother's womb was fashioned to be the flesh in the time of 10 months. So, Shalom said, I'm delivered early. 10 months was I in my mother's womb developing as a result of my father and my mother. Kadar, go lay down and be quiet. Right? He says, being compacted with blood of the seed of man and the pleasure that came with sleep. I was in my mother's womb. I was in her embryonic sac. Covered in blood, right? 
sleeping, resting. Right? Right? He said, and when I was born, right, and I drew in me common air, right, because you know, I was, I was breathing and existing in the amniotic fluid. But when I came forth, right, I started breathing air. And I fell upon the earth. Right? So, you know, you know, it was a birthing position. Yeah, it was a seated position. You know, they came out into dirt. Baby got all dirty. He going back to dirt. <laughs> that's that's dust to dust. <sighs> Listen, on the earth, which is of like nature, because you know I was, I was original man was formed from the dust of the earth. The dirt, the brown stuff. <laughs> the ruddy stuff. <laughs> right? Which is in nature. And the first voice which I uttered was crying. As all of us do. Listen, we all come through the same way. Right? You know, now you know they C section, you can cut you open and set you back up. There were no C section back in the day. Okay. He says, I was nursed in swaddling clothing. I swaddling clothing. And that was care, with care. See, you know, it's a baby. I was wrapped in swaddling clothing. I don't know what the word swaddling. Let's do this. Let's do this. Swaddling. Swaddling. A garment or cloth. She swaddled the baby tightly. Right? Swaddling. So it's a cloth or a garment that they use to wrap the baby. Swaddling is an old age practice of wrapping infants in blankets or similar clothes so that movement of the limbs is tightly restricted. Swaddling bands were you often used to further restrict infants Further to restrict infants of sudden infant death syndrome. No more since. However, another study indicated that swallowing swallowing increased the risk of SID. Ah, that's all I know, whatever. Nah, that's more than I needed to know. All I need to know was clothing, right? Right? He says, for there is, fifth, first, fifth verse, for there is no king that had any other beginning of birth. Every, look, they all came that way. Yahushua Mashiach came that way, right? All men have one interest into life and the like going out. So it's all important of men once to die in the judgment. You were born into this earth, you're going to die. You're going to leave this earth. You were born mortal, you're going to leave mortal. Right? Some of you going to live to a full age. Some of you ain't going to live as long as you would have liked to have lived. Right? Some of us have lost loved ones in their early teens and in their, in their, in their, in their, um, uh, early 20s, 30s, 40s, and so on, right? 
Wherefore I pray and understanding was given me. I prayed. Right? And understanding was given to me. Now, now he prayed, Chronicles, right? You given to me now wisdom. Right? Right? So he prayed, right? He says here, wherefore I prayed for understand prayed and understanding was given me. I prayed for the Ruach of wisdom and the Ruach of knowledge. And you gave them to me. I prayed for him. He gave them to me. Right? I called upon a Lua. And the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom came to me. You, I thank you right now for the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom. The Ruach HaKadosh of understanding. The Ruach HaKadosh of counsel. I thank you for the Ruach HaKadosh of knowledge. I thank you for the Ruach HaKadosh of the fear of Yahuwah. I thank you for your Ruach HaKadosh. Grant these to me that I may serve you and your people. For who can rule, who can serve, who could render a word, a sure word to your people except by the Ruach. Listen, this was slow mo brain. And Yahuwah, 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 Yahuwah says, wisdom and knowledge is granted unto thee. And I will give thee riches and wealth and honor such as none of the kings have had and had been before thee, neither shall the afterwards be like unto thee. Wisdom. The Ruach HaGadosh. Shlomo says in the wisdom of Shlomo, he says, I called on Alua, and the Ruach HaGadosh of wisdom came to me. Right? He says, I preferred her, right, wisdom, right, wisdom, before scepters and thrones. And I esteemed riches, nothing in comparison to her, right? Now, we talked about this in, in, in our Shabbat lesson, right? You know how... If you're not careful, you can get off on an idea that's not necessarily based in fact, right? Hence, you hear Shaul, not Shaul, you hear Shlomo speak in reference to wisdom as her, right? And you know wisdom is the Ruach HaKadosh. So, the Ruach HaKadosh must be a woman. And, wrong answer. The Ruach HaKadosh is the Ruach HaKadosh of Yahuwah and Yahushua. Right? Now, understand this. The Ruach HaKadosh, right, characteris characteristics resemble that of a woman. Right? Right? It's not that the Ruach HaKadosh is a woman, but the characteristics that bring clarity and understanding that's associated with how it moves in wisdom is as a woman. Look, 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 man. Right? Maaki said this. Listen. We are the bride of Yahuwah. Yahuwah is married to those who he has received in this witness. I'm a bride. Now, from a gender standpoint, I can't be a bride. I don't care what these, these pornonia uh, individuals want to lead you to believe. Yahuwah gave Adam, Hava, 
and Hava Adam because they were good. Because it was not good for him to be alone. And she was a suitable help her help meet, right? Now we are considered the bride of Yush. Right? Right? Look, there's nothing feminine about me. There's nothing gen gender uh, um, specific about me that lends itself to being female. But Yahuwah speaks in reference to the relationship of intimacy that is bridegroom-like. Wisdom, her, right, in its operation, presents himself in the same way as a woman might. Understand like a woman might. It's not that the Ruach HaKadosh is a woman. Yahushua says him and the Father is going to dwell in you in the Ruach I got this. Okay. That's all I'm going to say about that. Right? He says, Neither compare I unto her any precious stones. Wisdom. The wisdom of Yahuwah Right. The wisdom of Yahuwah cannot be compared to stones. Right? 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 Because all gold is in respect of her is as a little sand and silver shall be counted as clay before her. Listen. He has a value. He has a value that is more precious than silver and gold. Kadar, go lay down. Now. More than silver and gold. Right? He says silver shall be counted as clay before her. No value. Listen. The Ruach HaKadosh of Wisdom, right? The Ruach HaKadosh of Wisdom, right? Cannot have a value placed on it. Listen, the Ruach HaKadosh in and of itself is everything you need to get the job done. You got what you need in the Ruach HaKadosh. And in the quality of wisdom and knowledge, that's a beautiful thing in the Ruach HaKadosh. How, how, how to know how to move in the Ruach HaKadosh. How to know what to say when to say it in the Ruach HaKadosh. Listen, 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 listen. He says, I love her above health and beauty. He loves the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom above above health and beauty. Now you know it's interesting, right? Because his desire had changed, shifted. Right? At a point his failure to meditate in Torah day and night, his failure to listen to the Ruach HaKadosh led to his compulsion to marrying a bunch of women. Excuse me. Not the daughters of Zion, but the other nations. His failure to keep Torah. The king is not to multiply wives unto himself. He knew Torah. But 
he didn't keep Torah for him day and night. And he started this infatuation with exotic women from the other nations. He was marrying tens. Because you know, you know, there's nobody should just think it's a ten, ten, but you know what I'm saying. You know, a woman's beauty is a woman's beauty, and each one, every woman is a possessor of her own beauty. Right, right, and, and and listen. If you if you if you if you're falling for it just because she's super fine, guess what? You better make sure she got a whole lot more of that package. Yeah, but the idea is that she's almost, you know, she's a beautiful woman. He was the king. He was the king. He wasn't just marrying any woman. He was marrying the most beautiful woman from the most most most. most uh, from amongst the nations. He, he, he was establishing his own UN. <laughs> he had the cause of the righteousness of Yahuwah's kingdom. Yeah, he allowed, he allowed his flesh to, 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 to move in the direction of folly and madness. His mind gave his self-talk to knowing folly and madness. He said he communed in his heart. Self-talk. Got to thinking about things. See, and he understands the value of the Ruach of wisdom at this point because I love the Ruach of wisdom above health and beauty. I choose to have the Ruach of wisdom instead of light. Right? For the light that comes from the Ruach of wisdom never goes out. See, 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 the Ruach of Kedisha wisdom will never go out. You will never take it away from you. But it will flee you. Because as long as you remain righteous before you, uh, and as long as you keep the Torah meditating day and night before you, look, you always have the Ruach of Kedisha wisdom. But once you cross over, But you cross over and you step out of the fellowship of the Ruach of Yahuwah, then guess what? The Ruach HaKadosh of discernment flees. Flees. It's not going to return. Flees. Right? Until Atonement is made. And that's if you allows you to atone after having received the witness of Yushin Mashiach and you turn from. See, because you know Yahuwah, 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 Yahuwah put it all on the line for you. That's Shaul. He put the care of the people into the hands of Shaul. All on the line. All Shaul had to do was obey Yahuwah's word. And and, and 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 keep the Torah before him day and night. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. And Samuel went to tell him, look, you was taking his Ruach Agadesh away from you. And not only is he going to take his Ruach Agadesh away from you, he's going to send you a touring, tormenting Ruach. A tormentor. A Ruach to torment you. You better understand this. You better understand this. You better cherish this witness. You better cherish this rule of God. You better meditate on that Torah day and night. Because if you don't meditate on that Torah day and night, guess what? Guess what? Then you're going to slip away. 
Oh yeah, because you're going to do something. You're going to entertain self-talk. See, I, I, I just kind of need to get you uh, in a place where you know you can, you can enter in. Get you to yield. See, and the Ruach of Wisdom is light and darkness. Yahushua Mashiach is that Torah, that Basura that shined in darkness. He's that living word. The Ruach of Desh Wisdom. Well, that's knowledge. That's what Shlomo asked for and he got it. Right? He said, listen, listen, listen. He says, all good things came to me with her. All good things came to me because of the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom and knowledge. Good things. Right now, if the Ruach HaKadosh of Wisdom brought to him good things, how come in Ecclesiastes he says it's all vanity? It's a contradiction. No, what it is, is it's a righteous revealing of the Ruach HaKadosh and the Ruach HaKadosh of Wisdom, Ruach HaKadosh of Knowledge and a heart that's right. And in Ecclesiastics, it's the Ruach of Yahuwah not present, of wisdom and knowledge. And you have a torment now. Because everything becomes vanity. Because clearly, he says here, clearly, he says here, all good things come together, came to me, came together to me with the Ruach of wisdom. And innumerable riches because of the Ruach of Wisdom. The Ruach of Kadesh Wisdom brought innumerable riches. The Ruach of Kadesh Wisdom brought innumerable wit. The Ruach of Kadesh Wisdom. Riches. Innumerable. Right? He says, for she, for the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom is a treasure unto the man that never failed. The Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom is a treasure unto men that never fails. See, in the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom, you ain't gonna ever fail. It's a treasure to you. Let this mind that was in Hamashiach be in you. Let the mind that was in Hamashiach be in you. Yehusha, son of Elu, who was filled with the Ruach HaKadosh and who was the Torah made flesh. You who meditated upon you was word. He was the word made flesh. You who didn't have to open the book and find out where it was read. He, he was the word made flesh. <laughs> you can you could just open to the book and turn to it and read. <laughs> and not even look at the pages. <laughs> Cause he wrote it. He's in the volume of it, right? But the idea is, is that. All things good, all things good, all things, all good things together came to me with her. And the innumerable riches are in her hands. I rejoice in them all because the Ruach of wisdom goeth before them. The Ruach of Wisdom brought riches. The Ruach of Wisdom goes before everything. 
I'm so grateful that I understand what the Ruach HaKadosh is and how he operates. Right? The Ruach of, of, of Yahuwah, the Ruach HaKadosh, the wisdom, the Ruach of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of Yahuwah. God, Yahuwah, thank you for the Ruach of wisdom and revelation. In the knowledge of you know, I used to pray that as a young man. That was one of the scriptures that I had on my had, had on my on my uh, door. That the the uh, pray that the the ruach Hakadosh of wisdom and understanding, right, and light. I had those scriptures that I read them over and over and over again. Ruach Hakadosh, I thank you for the ruach Hakadosh of wisdom and revelation. In the knowledge of him. Thank you that the eyes of my understanding have been enlightened. That I know what is the hope of my calling. And what the riches of the glory of the inheritance is in the saints. And what the exceeding greatness is of his power to us who believe. I am so grateful that you have put this in my heart. And wrote these words on the inside of me. When I was young I said you I want what Shlomo. Shomo said he want wisdom, I want wisdom. You are given to me now wisdom that I might go out and come in before this people. For who can judge his people that are so great of thine? He gave it. I'm seeing the manifestation of his wisdom right now, even as we 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 go through this lesson. Listen. I rejoice in them all because the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom goes before me. I rejoice in riches in my hands that are innumerable, right? I rejoice in the good things that come together by the Ruach of wisdom, right? I learn diligently. And do communicate the Ruach of Wisdom liberally. Right? I do not hide her value. Her riches. I share wisdom. I share understanding. I share insight. See, you, you ain't got to twist my arm to tell anybody about the witness. I share it liberally. I do share it liberally. It's important to understand how of necessity the Ruach of is. That's what he said. Tell my people they need to receive the Ruach of Yeah. Riches. I don't pursue riches. I pursue wisdom. But I look for its byproduct. Riches. He says, 14. For wisdom, the Ruach of wisdom is a treasure unto a man that never fails. It's a treasure that never fails which they that use become the friends of Alua. A friend of you, look, 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 look. If you puts his Ruach of wisdom in you, right? If you've received the witness of you, should have watered the blood and the Ruach in the death. Love now, you're the son of you. Does not yet appear what you shall be. But you know that when he shall appear, you should believe be, you should be like him, for you should see him as he is. You are sons and daughters of Yahuwah because you received his Ruach HaKadosh. And now he's saying here, for the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom is a treasure unto men that never fails. I can always rely on the wisdom of the Ruach of Yahuwah and never fail. He says, which they that use become the friends of Yahuwah. Right? 
being commanded for the gifts that come from learning. I just want to be Yahuwah's son. I'll be, I'll be his friend. I'll, I, I just want to be his. <laughs> I want me and you, you and me, me and you, you and me, you and me, me and you. I want you in me. I want to be a part of you. That's why I praise you for his Ruach HaKadosh. I thank you for his Ruach HaKadosh. He says, For Alua hath granted me to speak as I would and to conceive as it is meet for the things that are given me. I think you would, because, you know, the Ruach HaKadosh of, of wisdom has given me what he's given me to give to you. The witness of the Ruach HaKadosh. See, the wisdom of Yahuwah connects everything to the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. The Ruach HaKadosh, the water and the blood. The Ruach of wisdom in me, the Ruach of understanding in me draws the connection, the correlation that causes them to coexist, to be one, to be a part of, right? He says, Alua haveth granted me to speak as I would. He said, whosoever speaks, let it be as were the oracles of Yahuwah. I choose to teach from Yahuwah's word directly. And to conceive as is necessary for the things that are given to me. I, I, I know exactly what I need that is necessary. nothing deep. <laughs> I need exactly what is necessary for me to deliver the word, this witness, to you who you who has told me to tell you that you must receive the Ruach HaKadosh. That's all I need. <laughs> all I need is necessary. All I need is necessary. Right? Right? Because it is he that leadeth unto wisdom. It is he that leadeth by the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom and directs me. See, see, I'm only going to say what the Ruach HaKadosh give me to say. I ain't going to sit up here and say what I want to say because what I want to say is vanity and vexation apart from you who is Ruach HaKadosh and you, you who is wisdom. Right. See, I don't want anything to do with anything that has anything to do with anything other than the Ruach HaKadosh. <laughs> and the witness of you and you and me. That's it. He says, because it is he that leadeth the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom. Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom. It's leech. Right? The Ruach HaKadosh in and of itself, Yahushua said, is going to lead you and guide you into all truth. The Ruach HaKadosh is the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom. It's the Ruach of Yahuwah and Yahushua. And it directs the wise. Excuse me. The Ruach HaKadosh directs me. Excuse me. The Ruach HaKadosh of Yahuwah directs me. The Ruach HaKadosh of Yahuwah directs me. Right? Right? He says, for in his hands are both we and our words. For in his hands are both we, who who hands? Yahuwah's. In his hands, Yahuwah's, are both we and our words. Right? Because the Ruach HaKadosh of Wisdom 
is what we speak. Our words are in his hands. I am in his hands. I have his Ruach HaKadosh. Beloved, now we the sons of Elua because we've received the witness, the water, the blood, and the Ruach HaKadosh. Right? You've received Yahuwah's Ruach HaKadosh. Ephesians 1 and 13. In whom also you in whom also in whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word, right? The word of truth, right? The word of wisdom, the word of Yahuwah, which is Yahusha, the word made flesh, who was full of grace and truth, who had all wisdom. The Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom. You shall receive power after that the Ruach HaKadosh has come upon you. You shall be my witness. Yehukanan said, I beheld as it were a dove descending upon him. And upon him, it is he who, he who had told me this, said, would baptize with the Ruach HaKadosh. Right? He says, after that you heard the word, the Besora of your Yeshua, Yah salvation, Yahusha, in whom also after that ye believed, you believed the word, the witness of the water, the blood, the Ruach HaGadesh, you were sealed, right? You were sealed with what? The Ruach HaKadesh, Ruach HaKadesh of promise, right? Right? which is the earnest of the inheritance unto the redemption of the person of possession to the praise of his glory. Wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in Adonai Yahushua and love for all the, the Kodeshim, cease not to give thanks for you, make a mention of you in my prayers, that, verse 17, that Elua of our Adonai Yahushua Hamashiach, the Father of glory, may give unto you the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom and revelation and the Ruach HaKadosh of revelation and the Ruach HaKadosh of the knowledge, Ruach HaKadosh of knowledge of him. Right? What does it do? What does this Ruach HaKadosh do? Right? This Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom, this Ruach HaKadosh of revelation, this Ruach HaKadosh of knowledge. What does it do? The eyes of your understanding, you become enlightened. Right? So that you now know what the hope of his calling is. And what the riches, the wealth of the glory of his inheritance is in the saints, in the code of Shem. Right. Is it not the same thing that Shlomo was speaking of in reference to the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom? Right? Isn't it not the same? He says, listen. I diligent, I learn diligently to communicate her liberally. I do not hide her riches, right? For she is a treasure unto the men that never fails. She, the Ruach of wisdom is a treasure and it never fails. That which, and, and which they that use become the friend of Alua. The Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom connects you to Yahuwah. We just read that in Ephesians, right? Right? Being commended for the gifts that come from learning, right? He says that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, you are learning by the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom, by the Ruach HaKadosh of revelation, and by the Ruach HaKadosh of knowledge. It's being revealed to you, right? 
He says, Allah have granted me to speak as I would and I and to conceive as, as necessary for the things that are given me. I've gotten what I need to get the job done to communicate what Yahuwah wants me to communicate by his wisdom, his revelation, and his knowledge. Because it is he that leadeth unto the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom. It is he that grants the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom. It is he that provides this gift of the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom, right? Right? And directeth the wise. For it is in his hand both we, our words. For in his hands are both we and our words. The Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom also and knowledge, right, uh, of workmanship, right? For he hath given me certain knowledge of the things that are namely to know how the world was made and the operation of the elements. So Shlomo said, you who is supernaturally by the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom and knowledge show me how things function. Show me how things function, right? The elements. He says, the beginning, ending, and the mist of the times, the alterations of the turning of the sun and the seasons, right? The circuits of years and the position of stars, right? The nature of living creatures, the the fury of beasts, the violence of winds, the reasonings of men, the diversity of plants in virtue of roots. Yahuwah, Yahuwah, opened up unto Shloma the wisdom of the functioning of the earth. Right? Right? All such things are as either secret or manifested them I know. See, now you gave this to Shlomo because Shlomo asked for it. Right? Gave him wisdom. But he told him, there's nobody going to be like you after you. Ain't nobody coming like you after you. Nobody gonna come like you in wealth and riches and honor. Excuse me. No, none of them. They ain't coming like you. Because I've granted you this Ruach. Right? He said, listen. All such things are as either secret or manifested, them I know. Right? He says. For wisdom, which is the worker of all things, taught me. See, wisdom taught me. The Ruach HaKadosh of Wisdom. Now listen, 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 listen. He meditated on the Torah. He meditated in the book of Enoch. He meditated in the book of Yasher. He meditated in the book Jubilees, he meditated in the book of, of Genesis, he meditated in the books that were available to him. And the Ruach HaGadesh of wisdom brought the discernment supernaturally from Yahuwah unto him. He was, he knew inner workings of things by the Ruach HaKadosh. See, now, now, I don't need to know all that. See, because I'm interested, right, in the knowledge, right, Allah has grant me to speak as I would and to conceive as is necessary. <laughs> I 
I only want what is necessary for this witness. Right? For the things that are given to me. He told me to preach the witness. He told me to tell my people they must receive the Ruach HaKadosh. He told me this. Everything that he gives me in wisdom points to this. I, 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 I you know, I ain't concerned about the circuits of the moon or our house. I, I stay in my lane. <laughs> I stay in my Ruach wisdom and revelation and knowledge of him slain, right? <laughs> okay. For wisdom, which is the worker of all things, taught me, right? And we went down and we talked about that. For in in the, the Ruach of wisdom is an understanding Kodesh Ruach. One only manifest, subtle, lively, clear, undefiled, plain, not subject to hurt, loving the things that are living, uh, good and living, which cannot be let it ready to do good. That's a rule I did. See, because Shlomo said the Ruach HaKadosh is one Ruach. Excuse me. It's, it's one Ruach. Yeah, it has characteristics. But it's one loving Ruach. It's one loving Ruach. It has characteristics, but it's one loving Ruach. Right? He says here, for the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom, which is the worker of all things, taught me. For in the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom is an understanding, Kodesh Ruach, the comfort. It's a comforter. It's a comforter. It's a comforter. It's the comforter. It's an understanding Kodesh Ruach. One only. One Ruach. Right? Right? Manifold. Having many folds. Right. Wisdom, understanding, counsel, might, knowledge, the fear of Yahweh. You was Ruach. Seven. Right? Right? The manifold doctrine of creation. Sevenfold. Right? The Ruach is one Ruach. But it's manifold. It has wisdom, it has understanding, it has counsel, it has might, it has knowledge, it has wisdom, it has the fear of Yahweh. See, but it's, it's, it's one only. It's manifold. Means it's one folded in the seven, right? It's subtle, subtle, subtle. It's not overbearing, subtle, right? It's lively. Ruach is lively. It's clear. Oh yeah, Ruach, this is clear. Ruach, this is clear. It's undefiled. The Ruach Agadesh will not coexist, cohabitate with sin in any shape or form. So this idea that once you have the Ruach HaKadosh, you can never lose it, is wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. It will flee from you if you do not continue to meditate in Torah. You're not going to listen to him. 
it's going to flee. It's going to flee deceit. It's not going to remain in a temple that has sinned. Got too much evidence here, man. Too much evidence to support that. Too much evidence to support that to be the case. He says, for wisdom, right, subtly, let me skip down, let me skip down. He says, lively, clear, undefiled, it ain't sharing its temple. Right, so when the Ruach HaKadosh comes in, it comes into you because you have been swept clean. You have received Yahushua's blood atonement and now you are a vessel that is swept clean and varnished. And the Ruach HaKadosh can now take up residence in you because your condition is conducive to his presence. Right? Right? It's plain... It's not subject to hurt. You can't hurt the Ruach HaKadosh. Right? 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 You can grieve it. But you can't hurt it. Right? Loving the things that are good. The Ruach HaKadosh loves the things that are good. Because the, the things that are good are things that are virtuous. Things that are virtuous are things that are, that are obedient that are a reflection of obeying Torah, right? He says, uh, which cannot be let it, ready to good, good, ready to do good, cannot be let it, but ready to do good, right? He says, he says, kind to men, this is the Ruach HaKadosh. Kind of men, steadfast and sure. The Ruach HaKadosh. Ruach HaKadosh. Steadfast and sure. Free from care. Why? Why would it be free from care? Because Yehu and Yehusha don't have a care. And you who have his Ruach HaKadosh don't have a care. Right? Having all power. Ruach HaKadosh. The power. You shall receive power. Dunamos. Exousia. After that, the Ruach HaKadosh has come upon you. Power. Power, right? Overseeing all things. The Ruach HaKadosh is overseeing all the affairs of the Basura of Truth. You know, I was, I was, I was, uh, I was um, uh, just led to have our people pray for uh, for uh, Yahuwah's um, blessing financially for us to move to do the things that we know that he's calling us to do. And you know, I, I ain't worried about that. I'm targeted with the Ruach of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him knowing that the Ruach is going to lead me and guide me into all truth. Knowing that he's giving me power knowing that he's overseeing all things concerning me, right? And going through all understanding, pure, and most subtle spirits. You, Zeru Aragonesh, right? So, he says, that's, that's how you get things done. That's how you gotta pray in the Ruach, and you gotta pray with your understanding. See, I think in the Ruach, and I think with your understanding. There's certain things that only the Ruach HaKadosh knows. That you can pray in the Ruach HaKadosh that he can move on behalf of. Right? He says, for the Ruach of wisdom is more moving than any motion. The Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom passes and goes through all the things by reason of pureness. 
goes through them by reason of pureness. Right? The Ruach Hakodesh, he says, the Ruach Hakodesh is the breath of the power of Alua. It's the new one. The Ruach Hakodesh. Listen, 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 listen. You want to know what the Ruach Hakodesh is? I'm reading it too. what the Ruach HaKadosh is. This is what the Ruach HaKadosh does. This is what the Ruach HaKadosh provides. The Ruach HaKadosh is the breath of the power of the Lua. It's the breath. And a pure influence flowing from the glory of Alua. Almighty, Alua. Therefore, can no defiled thing fall uh, into the Ruach. Listen, 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 listen. If the Ruach are this is on the inside of you, you ain't in sin. You ain't in lust, you ain't in perversion, you ain't in none of that. Not through I got this is in you. That don't mean that the enemy ain't gonna throw a thought to you head, but you gotta cast down the imaginations and every high thought. But you can't be entertaining them, because once you entertain them, you know what you do. You give place for that to take root. And once it gets in, you're going to act on it. Well, and this gonna flee because he gonna know when you gonna act on it. For the ruach of the dish of wisdom is the breath of the power of a lure. The breath of the power. Now again. It says her, 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 she. We done dealt with that, right? We done dealt with that. We understand that it is the Ruach HaKadosh of Yehud and Yehusha. It's who, that's who it is. It's what it is. It, it is, right? It moves in characteristics that resembles a her. A she. Because you know men and women move differently. They move differently. There are things that Yahuwah uses in reference to females because he created them different. And they move a certain way. Right? The Ruach HaKadosh, right, is the Ruach of Yahuwah and Yahushua. But the Ruach of Wisdom moves in a manner in which it's reflective or, or a ref, yeah, reflective of a woman's characteristics, how she may present, right? For... She is the brightness of an everlasting light. The Ruach HaKadosh is the brightness of an everlasting light. The unspotted mirror of the power of you. Ruach HaKadosh. The Ruach HaKadosh. The Ruach HaKadosh. The Ruach HaKadosh. The Ruach HaKadosh, the Ruach HaKadosh is the brightness of an everlasting light. Yehusha says, you're the light of the world. You have the witness of Yehusha Mashiach on the inside of you. You have the Ruach HaKadosh of light. You are that unspotted mirror of the Ruach o power, the Dunamos the exousia of Yehu, Alua, and the image of his goodness. 
Ruach and Kadesh in you casts, casts the image of goodness. And being but one, the Ruach can do all things. Ruach and Kadesh can do all things, right? And remaining in the Ruach HaKadosh, the Ruach HaKadosh maketh all things new. Right? Remaining in the Ruach HaKadosh, remaining, continuing, and dwelling in the Ruach HaKadosh, right, in the present, makes the Ruach HaKadosh, makes all things new in you. In all the ages, entering into the Kodesh Nefesh, the Ruach HaKadosh maketh them friends with Alua and the prophets. The Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom. The Ruach HaKadosh of knowledge. Shlomo is talking about the Ruach HaKadosh which he received from you. He's talking about the Ruach HaKadosh that he's received from you. He's talking about the Ruach HaKadosh that he's received from you, right? He says, the Ruach HaKadosh maketh them friends of Elua. See, but in Yahushua's witness, we've sons. How oh, we've been sons of Yahuwah because we received the Ruach HaKadosh, right? He says, he, the Ruach HaKadosh maketh them friends of Alua and prophets. And Alua loveth none but him that dwelleth, or him that dwelleth in the Ruach HaKadosh. Because you, listen. Alua loveth none but him that has the Ruach HaKadosh dwelling in him. Because wisdom is a Ruach HaKadosh. You ain't his if you don't have his Ruach. You're not his. The children of you and the children of the devil are distinct. Those who are you have you as Ruach. Those who are Hasatans has Hasatan Ruach. Yahuwah loved those that have his Ruach. Yahuwah loveth them. Yahuwah loveth none but him that has his Ruach. See, because Yahuwah don't love those who reject him. In order to love him, you would have to have received his Ruach. You would have to have received the witness. The water, the blood, and the Ruach HaKadosh. Yahushua said, they shall, they shall know you are my disciples because of the love that you have one to another. Yahushua said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments as I have uh, loved the Father and kept his commandments. Right? Right? The comforter, which is the Ruach HaKadosh, gives you the capacity to love, right? So Alua loves those who have received the witness, Yehusha Mashiach, and have his Ruach HaKadosh, right? Because in them dwelleth the Ruach of wisdom and revelation and the Ruach of the knowledge of him. Verse 29. For she is more beautiful than the sun. The Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom is more beautiful than the sun. And above all the orders of the stars, the Ruach HaKadosh, being compared with the light, she is found before it. The Ruach HaKadosh. Kadar, cut it out! The Ruach HaKadosh of light. Yahushua is the light of the world. Yahushua was the light of the world. In him was no darkness because in him was the Ruach HaKadosh of Yahuwah. He was light. Listen, the Ruach HaKadosh is light. Right? When they were on the mountain of transfiguration, 
Yahushua shone, and there appeared before Moshe and Elisha, and they were both shining as lights. It was the Ruach of Kadesh shining from them. Shining in Yahuwah out, from the, from the inside out. Listen, in my belly is light. In my belly flows rivers of living water. Of this he spake of the Ruach of Kadesh which they had not yet received because Yahushua had not yet been glorified. But Yahushua has been glorified and he has given the Ruach HaKadosh for as many as asked. They receive. I ask and receive and it's in my belly. My inners. He says, For after this cometh night. Right? After this cometh night, but vice shall not prevail against the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom. Light will prevail. The Ruach of truth shall prevail. The Ruach of Truth is that light that shined in darkness. That Ruach HaKadosh of Yahusha, that Word made flesh, is that light. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, Ecclesiastes, the wisdom of Solomon, the seventh chapter. The Ruach HaKadosh. This is what it is. Yahweh, in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, I give you praise for your word. Your Basura of truth, the word you have given me, I have given them. And I pray that on this Rosh Shabbat, they would receive it, they would keep it, and that it would come alive in them. Yahuwah, I do it for them. I do it for them, Yahuwah, your people. I do it for you, Yahuwah. Yahuwah, you are the one that can do it all. And I give you praise. I give you glory and honor and majesty and power and dominion and might. Yahuwah, I thank you. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. You who are my strength and my redeemer. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, that's it. Listen, we the people of the book broadcast is going down on this show Shabbat. This is my Shabbat. Listening to none other than Hezekiah singing glory. Listen, I don't know the rights to this music. The Ruach of glory. The Ruach of Light. Yahuwah has made it available to those whom he loves. He shows mercies unto thousands of them that love him and keep his commandments. Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments as I have loved the Father and I have kept his commandments. He loves us. Yashara. Yahuwah. Wrapped it in Gentiles into the body of Mashiach. For Yahuwah loveth none but him that dwelleth in his Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom. This Ruach HaKadosh of light. This Ruach HaKadosh that sets us apart, that makes us go death. It's the Ruach HaKadosh. You must be born again of the water and of the Ruach HaKadosh. You must receive the witness of the Ruach HaKadosh, the water and the blood. Because he loves them. He loves none but them. We give you who a glory. With that I say, man of Yah, woman of Yah, called the greatness, woman of you who are beautifully the one we made. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Listen on this Shabbat. Be blessed. <laughs>
Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation.